about the Brother um, XR3240. Okay, so let's talk about a couple of things. Uh, first, I put a video when I go almost in details of all the parts that I've been using. There is one button I'm still struggling to figure out what it is. I have the manual and I still cannot figure out what is that about. Um, but I think it's, it's something to do um, with some kind of stitches um, and some kind of, of lock, but I'm still struggling with some kind of that. But the point of this video is showing the basics that I have been using. I purchased this, um, this sewing machine back to around October something, and I've been using that machine since then. I don't have any problem and I'm a heavy user. So uh, the video is going to be showing different portions, different things that came, how to use it and things like that. But the point that I want to make in this video is I find out there's older versions of the same machine that you can get in different places because I find out that my machine, which is a version for Costco, is a little bit high, um, hard to find in other places. So I did my job for you guys and I went to Walmart. They do have the Walmart up there. They have their own version and is the SQ9185. It's 179.97. That's the price I have up there. It's the same. I went there and physical saw the box and everything is the same machine. Now, for people who use um, Amazon, Amazon is amazing. And Amazon have the similar version of mine with the same kind of structure and same kind of um, buttons is $190 on Amazon. And the name of that one is HC1850. I will put all the information below so you guys can go and check it. The price, like I say, $190. Walmart is 175 and a couple cents. I paid for my 130 uh, at Costco and because I got it in special and then they dropped the price and I went there and gave them the difference on the money. So I really believe this is a good machine. This is my first review of the machine itself. So I really like that you guys let me know what you think about the machine. Um, like I said, I don't have any problem. I do like it. Um, but eventually we'll make another video about it um, after a couple months and tell you. So thank you so much for watching my video and I hope that you really like the whole video. Bye. Okay, so let's start from the basic. Number one, this is the power. Here you have the power. Turn on, turn it off. Then this is the cable, the power cable. And this is the pedal cable. From my previous video, um, I show you all the parts the way the machine came. So you do have the pedal, which is this one here. This is the pedal. You do have the standard head, I will say that, um, which is this one and I have a small um, compartment with the tools and everything. And then you have the extended um, base, which is this one. This is the one that you use for quilting. Now I'm going to explain to you the different functions um, of the machine itself. So you do have the bobbin um, filler or fuller. One that you put the bobbin and fill it out. For engage, you're going to put in this side and immediately wait on engage. You do have the tension wheel here. On the top, you do have these nice instructions, which is connected related to this portion here. Um, but eventually we'll show you how to do that. Then you do have all the different stitches. You have 99 stitches um, different in this portion here plus whatever stitches you do have here, which is 39 and 55 different letters that you can add it. Then you do have um, the needle um, screen here, and I will show you how it works. Then you do have this speed. 
um, slower, faster, medium. Then you do have the position how to put the needle up and down, back, and I never use this one to be honest. So I had no idea really what this one is about, but I never use it. So then you do have the needle thread, which is this one here. I don't know if you guys can see it, but you do have that option here. The bobbin is here. The wheel is here. So let's turn off the machine. When you turn off the machine, you will see that this portion will light up. And this is the standard. When you see this circle here, it means is in the original standard position. So that's the way that you normally want to sew in with the machine. Now, when you have the machine in this position, what you're going to do um, to change the stitches, you just check in this portion here. These buttons change the coordinations of each one. So let's say that you want to do any stitches on this portion here. So you're going to match this symbol here, which is this here, and you're gonna type in any of them. The way that you type in any of them, you go back here. These move in tens, and these move for one to zero, meaning it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, whatever. So if you hit here, go back to 90. If you hit here, go back to zero, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, and go back to zero. It would change positions and it would change um, the total stitches and everything because depending on the stitches, it would change that. So let's say that you just want to do number two. Just go here, number two. You have to see that here, the machine, the needle change. For example, when I go back to zero, let's do it one more time. So I go back to two, it changed the position. Now, if you want to do any of the stitches that is up in here, and this portion here, let me change the camera so you guys can see. So any of the stitches that is here, you have to redo this portion here. So we go in here, this symbol match this symbol. So that means I can do any of the stitches that is upstairs, up there here. So we can do any of them. If I want to do the letters, you just press the letter. As simple as that, you can use any of them. The big difference will be for example, with any of those stitches, the foot may change. Check this portion here. And it changed immediately. So you have to change the foot because if you don't change the foot, most likely the needle is going to hit the foot and break the needle. So you really have to change the different foot. Now, when we talk about needles, I mean, needles and foot, every single one of them came with a number and a letter. This one is the end one. This one is the I one. This one is the R one. And the one that normally came with the machine, as you can see, I will pop it here. Let me see if you can, guys can see it. I hope you guys can see it. My finger, you see this thing? Just press and release. This is the J one. This spring here, when you have uneven fabrics, you just press this when it's on the machine like this. It will hold and will stabilize the foot. From here, it will stabilize to here. So this foot is very versatile. You can do many things um, with it. So I would recommend you um, to change um, your foot according to what the machine say, because in that way you can avoid break the needle and use the correct foot. This part here is the, um, um, the 
screw that you use to tie it up um, the foot. And here, that's the um, automatic threader. The other two um, food I forget to tell you guys is this one, as you can see it. This is a typical button um, hole creator. This is the A one. And this is the N one. So you can see it here. So it came all this. I'm not quite sure if it, this one here came with a machine. I'm not quite sure, but most likely yes, because I'm very organized and tried to put everything together. I tried to find the letter, but I cannot see the letter on this one. Um, so yes, um, also came with this needles, double needle, these needles here, and it came with this brush to clean it, and this symbol, um, seam reaper, and basically that, um, that I can see here. I have others two foot but I'm not quite sure if it came with which is this one um, and this one yeah this one came with this is a G as you can see yeah this came this is the X and this is the G so this is the old thing it came it came these two things too and um, this and this for cleaning so, in general, um, is a very, very good machine. Um, all this for the price is really amazing.